I mean, he was just a, a kid on fire. He, there wasn't nothing he couldn't think of to do. Tears come to her eyes as Jeannie Cohee remembers her son Walter. Better known as Trey, he died in Afghanistan during Operation Enduring Freedom in 2002. Got a knock on the door. The military was here to inform us that our son had died. And they told her and her husband that an engine failed in Trey's helicopter over Kabul, Afghanistan. Two out of a crew of seven died. The Cohees have plenty to remember their son by, but his name here on the war memorial in Salisbury helps with the pain. Some people don't have a place to go to mourn, and any place that you can see your child, your husband, your father, your grandfather's name on the wall, it makes you feel proud. You know, one foot in front of the other, one day at a time, and, and just go. Like I say, some days you're not good, some days you're okay, and sometimes it'll be a month or two, you know, before you have a little breakdown. But, but not all the names here on this wall have a story like Trey's. Jeannie and others are hoping to collect those stories to keep their memories alive. He was a Marine. Mm -hmm. Only thing he would be. It didn't want to be anything but a Marine. He said, if I can't be a Marine, I'm not going. Today, Mom says she's glad her son went. Kevin Leahy, WBOC News.